There's a legend. What's up, dude? Hey, what's how up? Are you? What's up, legend? How are you? Good to see you, my friend. I'm a, I'm a big fan, so it's cool to see you in Vegas at Resorts World where you have your residency. It's pretty cool. How, what is the deal with the residency? How many days do you have to do a year? What's the? Is it like twice a month, or what do you do? Uh, I'm here 30 times this year in 2023, so that's not, you know, not every week, but close. That's a lot, though. Yeah, yeah. That's more a lot than, of days. More than half the year, yeah. They treat you well, though. Yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. I love this place. Like my second home. So. Do you remember the first year you actually DJ Vegas? Like, do you remember when you started? Uh, yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. A lot of things have changed. Nightclub music wasn't that popular back in the day. It was more like you know mixed format stuff. Just uh, whatever house music wasn't a big deal back then. Yeah. But. Do you DJ with your shoes off and stuff like? Or I have. Yeah. I, I've, is that many your times. I don't know if that's your thing, though, that you're starting. Like, it know, was like, for a long time, and then, like, I was doing it so much, I went to see a doctor because my feet were, and he's like, yeah, you got to start wearing shoes around. Because <laughs> I, I never wore shoes around the house. I never wore shoes, period. Yeah, yeah. He's like, dude, if you're jumping around for hours at a time, you got to start wearing shoes. And I was like, all right, I guess I'll start wearing some shoes. You've been in the industry for a long time. What's the key to having longevity, especially as a DJ? You know, I, you see a lot of people come and go, but you've, you've been around, you've maintained, oh, the, the status has been good, but what's the key to staying relevant and also staying fresh? And, Still going to nightclubs? I think for me, I think it's different for everybody, right? Everybody's got their own path. But yeah. For me, it was always writing and producing original music that connected with people, right? If I write some song and somebody somewhere hears it and they love it, the next time I'm in the town, they're going to come out. Yeah. So it was more about connecting with the music than anything else. But I think that, and then just not getting sucked into all of this, right? It's like people just get carried away with all of this right? of course but that's the thing is like you still look good at your age and stuff and it's like you but, but it's like you people sometimes get stuck i'm sure in the nightlife it's a lot of hours it's late night your your sleep must be, so what do you what's your sleep schedule like because you are a late night guy you have a late night job what is that like yeah it's all right i mean i think me i'm really interested in health and wellness yeah. so i take care of myself so when I, like tonight i'll be up all night i'm going i'm flying back at like seven or eight in the morning so I'll, I'll walk off stage and just head to the airport get on the plane and fly back wow but um for me it's about making sure you have time i'm always able to bounce back pretty quickly like tomorrow i'll be a bit of a wreck and take a nap in the yeah. middle of the afternoon or whatever but whatever you by just... sunday afternoon i'm like what's up I'm fine I'm so you're good. used to it right now. yeah just do it how often do people say you look like Rob Deerdeck? I get that a little bit. I get, I get, there's like five or six guys out there. Yeah. But I'm always like, yeah, I guess so, you know. It's not a bad thing, though. If you're running by real quick, yeah, I mean, whatever. Listen, as a DJ, though, I feel like you've had to do some crazy gigs. What's the wildest gig you've ever done in your career? Like, just wow. like it was like, I can't believe I'm getting booked here, and it's just a wild thing. Wow, man, there's been a lot of them. Mexico City, ages ago, I had like... <laughs> Part of the DJ booth collapsed, and I mean, people rushed the stage, yeah. type of thing. Um, what else? I don't know. Just going really long. I've played, I played a 12-hour show here in Vegas once. I played a 12-hour show in uh, Montreal, where you know, just keep going. People don't want to go home. It's like, all right, they're here, they're it's rocking. Insane. Let's keep going. I got records to play. Did you ever do any like the Dubai gigs or any like the, the, oh, princes, yeah. the Saudi princes? And what's the vibe like when you do like the Saudi gigs? I mean. Dubai is just a different thing. You just get over there and they give you a long list of things you can't do. Really? Which, when you walk off the plane, for me, I'm just like, nah, I just want to do something. Like, <laughs> like, you know, so, wait, what? Uh, but is it crazy because obviously the Saudi money, they have this crazy lifestyle, crazy wealth. Is it just like, you know, is, is it, it's a good gig, I'm sure, financially, but is it just a wild lifestyle in general? I just think entertainment in general is excessive everything about it is, is excessive right it's not yeah. I don't think it's just Dubai it's just like anywhere you go everyone's so accommodating wants to help you give you whatever you need and whatever that is so I think if you just naturally have those tendencies it could be a bad place to have a job yeah and find a home have you ever gotten paid seven figures eight figures for you like let's say million dollars have you got a million dollar gig yet I've never gotten a million dollars. I've gotten close to a million dollars a okay. number of times, yes. And when you do that, what are the expectations? Is it just a two-hour set? or? Yeah, no, they always say, hey, it's a two do, do we just need this? But then you got to have dinner with us, too, <laughs> yeah. beforehand. And I'm like, 
Well, wait a minute. That's insane. <laughs> You're paying me to play records. Hold on a but second. But that's part of it. Like you, but they you, always want to roll in a, a few extra things. And are, they, are, are these people, don't tell me the names, but are they celebrities? Are they, are they, what's their background? Because obviously that's, a, that's not a cheap bill. Um, no, typically it's not celebrities, although I've met a lot of celebrities that are fans and really cool, but I feel like they understand that, so they're very respectful. Sure. Um, typically it's people that have done well in some other industry and have lots of money and their kids are fans. Yeah. Or their new, young, hot wife is a fan and they're trying to impress or something like that. Yeah. So those can always be really strange. Tech money too, I, I feel like... My money, my or my my music has spoken to people in the tech industry that have a lot of money. Yeah, that have done really well. So it makes sense. Yeah. Who was the one celebrity that you got starstruck meeting? Um, let's talk. A few of them. I, I would go with like sports guys, like uh, Michael Jordan. Sure. He came to a gig early on in my career, so I was still kind of young, and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh my gosh, Michael Jordan. I'm from Chicago, so when he walked into the room, I was like, uh, yeah. Um. LeBron James, same thing. He came to a show here in uh, in Las Vegas, I don't know, a few years ago, and I was like, LeBron James, you know, like, it's, where's it's, the play button? <laughs> like, how do I do this? <laughs> well, my last question for you is, obviously, we're, we're here at Resorts World where you have your residency. What's What do you do before you take the stage? Before you get to the club, obviously, you don't get, you, you don't probably don't go until, like, 1.30 in the morning, or? Yeah, yeah, 1.30. So what do you do before that? Do you hang out? Do you chill? Like, what's your, what do you, what's your routine? Uh, my pre-show routine is typically just sitting in the hotel room alone. This is going to be really un- climactic, it's anticlimactic as, as it is, but for me I'm usually prepping, just trying to get in the headspace, and yeah. I like to listen to music, kind of just prepping, like, oh, what's gonna, what do I think is going to work in the night, what's it going to go, you know? Are you nervous at all, or no? Do you at still this get stage, nervous? no, I get excited, and kind of butterflies and whatnot, but, um, yeah, not, I mean, no, it's still a lot of fun It's adrenaline. Yeah, it's adrenaline. I love it, my anything. friend. Well, dude, yeah. it's an honor, it's a legend, I'm a friend, I'm a fan. Cool to see you, my friends. Cool to see you, Resorts. Well, keep up the good work, dude. Yeah, Honestly, it's an honor to meet you, man. Good to see you, brother. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. you, brother.